ocean with five ships like this to go to the new world. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, this guy, Gelatin, man, when there was gold involved, he was in for the trip. And here we have our ta 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 Along with the 600 other men and soldiers on that expedition, almost five boats. Yeah, and then what? And then, <coughs> on 1527, from the port of San Lucas de Valdemera, all these people crossed the Atlantic <laughs> to go to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them turned into cannibals, and then they just waited for other people to die so they could have something to eat. And then it took them six months, and finally, most of the rafts had sunk, there was only one left. And on that raft, lucky for them, Cabeza de Laca is down in But then they were caught in a whoa! Well, it's Twister, you know, taking over land and over sea and ended up on Galveston Island, up the coast of Texas. And as soon as they landed on that island, they were surrounded by the Indians! <laughs> oh. So, poor Estebanico, from the slave of a Spaniard to the slave of an Indian. Yeah. Right in the Cabeza de Vaca, from being the treasurer of the expedition to being as life of the Indians. Well, you may think this has been a big journey so far, man. I said, this is nothing. They sat out on foot, barefoot, naked, nothing to eat, cold, Ugh. and they have to travel 2,000 miles because they were trying to get to the Paracu River in Mexico to meet up with some other Spaniards. And along the way, enslaved by different tribes. We see the Southwest Desert. And made to work incredibly hard very little to eat. And then somehow they began to cure some of the Indians. And the Indians began to follow them. And eventually they had thousands of Indians following them. Because they all believed that they were healers. That was their experience. And once a year, right around Labor Day, no Memorial Day, they were able to go to one place where they got some blackberries. Lucky them. And a lot of times they were just eating goat shit and all kinds of horrible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Let me tell you, it was really bad. It was really bad. Yeah. I'm sure that you people would like to see some of the tortures and some of the privations and some of the slavery, right? <laughs> You'd like to see some of that stuff in puppets? <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> so, do you want to see how Cabeza de Vaca and Estebanico went from being a slave to becoming a shaman? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. 
the story is about some people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 